Mr. Clarence here from Clare Maths. This was a doozy, this one. 2019 uh, paper 2 question 18 this came from. You can see the picture I've got here. It's a picture of a snowman. We're told limited information was somehow asked to calculate how the snowman. Here is the actual question that was worded and it stumped a lot of people. It says, here's a picture of a cartoon snowman and the diagram below represents the snowman. It tells you some information, such as the head is a small circle with a diameter of 15 centimetres. The body is a larger circle with centre T. It says T lies in the circumference of the small circle and A and B lie in the circumferences of both circles. And the question is, calculate CD, the height of the snowman. Why don't you have a go at that now and then come back and see what the solution is. Okay, would you believe, if you've not managed this already, that this is actually a Pythagoras question? You wouldn't, would you? But if you have a look at it, we need to just kind of take a step back from what it's asking us and just see what information we're given and see what we can calculate. So the first bit of information I'm going to use is the fact that the head is a smaller circle centre S with diameter of 15 centimetres. So if I get a pen and draw that in, there's a diameter there, and we know that that is 15 centimetres. And let's just double check what it's asking us to calculate. It's asking us to somehow calculate this whole height. Well, we already know that from here to here is also a diameter, so that's 15. So really the problem becomes, how do I calculate from here to here? Let's draw that line in then. I want to go from here to here. And I don't know what that is. But what I do know, if you think about it, is it's a radius of the bigger circle. So that's a radius. So could I draw maybe another line that's a radius and work it out instead? Well, if I go from here to here, that's also a radius. Let's call that R, it's the same radius. I can make a right angle triangle. So if I know two sides of a right angle triangle, I can get the third side using Pythagoras. So well, let's check. That was the diameter. So half the diameter must be the radius of a small circle, 7.5. So I can write 7.5. And it's similarly going down the way as a radius, so that is also 7.5. Once you get this far, I suppose it becomes easier. So if you imagine to do that, you're doing very well. So then all you had to do was say that, if we take our triangle out so we can really see it, we've got a right angle triangle, which is 7.5 by 7.5, and we need to work out R, so 7.5 squared plus 7.5 squared equals r squared. So 7.5 squared plus 7.5 squared is 112.5. So r must be the square root of 112.5, which equals 10.6066. So 10.6 centimetres. So we now know that r is 10.6, so our height, we'll just do that here, is equal to, well, we've got our diameter to here, which is 15, plus our radius that we've just calculated, 10.6, so in total, 25.6 centimetres to one decimal place. Now this was a four mark question, so you may be wondering where do you get the actual marks. You get one mark only for working out what you need to do Pythagoras and get a triangle. So you get a mark for getting this triangle. You then get your mark for writing 7.5 squared plus 7.5 squared. You get a mark for then calculating the radius by square root in the answer. And then your final mark for adding everything together. So really, you had to be able to get this triangle, but unfortunately, if you couldn't get that triangle, there's not a lot you could have done, and there's no way you could have really gone with this question. So it was either going to be all or nothing, really.